Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toaster Bros and we're super excited to check out our first RTX 4060 gaming laptop. This one right here from Gigabyte features the RTX 4060 and i5-12500H, which is a pretty awesome combo. I'm very excited to see how the 4060 performs in a laptop form factor. And of course, this video was made possible and sponsored by our friends at Gigabyte. We're gonna be doing a showcase of this laptop, opening it up, testing it in some of our favorite titles and just see what is the 4060 and i5 combo capable of doing? Well, we're about to find out. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Now as Jackson opens this laptop up, you might have seen this. Now this laptop comes with eight gigs of RAM, which for budget laptops is adequate, but we want to showcase that this laptop is upgradable as well. And for the price and how cheap RAM is, we highly suggest you go out of your way to get the RAM upgrade. Yeah, so we're definitely excited. Uh, we'll get to see what the inside of this laptop looks like. We'll get to see what other upgrade uh, expansion ports and whatnot we have in the inside. But I had to pull out the big knife because this is this is a big deal. You know, we're finally getting to see 40 series a little more prevalent in laptops. On top of that, it's new 40 series. I mean, we can't even get our hands on a desktop version yet. So this is pretty cool. I obviously don't expect it to be like whatever the desktop one's gonna be, but I have good hope for it though. I'm, I'm definitely thinking it's gonna be pretty good for, uh, you know, 1080p, 144 hertz refresh rate screen. I think we'll be able to keep up with that for sure. Yeah, and they did a little bit of a redesign with these laptops compared to the other ones that have existed in the past. They give you free snacks. Just kidding, do not eat that, not a snack. Um, but look at the power brick, we got all that. And, yep, uh, power brick, we'll go ahead and pull out our laptop. Our laptop's actually fairly, um, so they have a new design, but it seems like it's not super big or anything. It actually looks like they, uh, that's a, a heat pad, like a thermal pad, so that's exciting. That's just the upgrade. Yeah, so we get a pretty small power brick, which I, I love to see personally. I do, I'm not a fan of those giant bricks, but it's 150 watts inside this little guy. That's pretty efficient. That is pretty impressive inside of a power brick that size. Over here, we probably just get like our warranty card and some other basic stuff. A lot of laptop manufacturers have gotten better and including things for like upgrading. So yeah, this is like a thermal pad, probably for like an M.2 for either Wi-Fi or for your NVMe upgrades, uh, cause this could definitely take some gen four. Now, one thing that's cool is this has efficiency cores and performance cores. So it's an i5-12500H, that is a 12 core 16 threaded processor. Look at all that copper. Ooh. I already love to see that. We know, we know we're gonna have some good cooling when we see lots of high quality materials like that. So. The laptop looks pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the sheath off and then we're gonna talk about the ports on it because that's always important to know if it's gonna have enough ports for your desires. So the left side of the laptop, we have USB 3, USB 2. We have actual dual jacks, one for the audio in, one for the audio out, which I really like to see. Most laptop manufacturers, they just do one. They're not really too sure. Uh, DC in for our charging. This is a, is that a mini display port? Yeah, mini display port. Mini display port, which is interesting. Full size HDMI, USB-C for charging uh, your phones and whatnot, or just data transfer. We love USB-C. Oh, this is always nice to see an actual Ethernet. Ethernet. Uh, another USB C and a micro SD card reader. This is an interesting port selection that I kind of like, even more copper in the back for lots of breathability. I like this too, gaming series, Gigabyte. Super clean looking, I'm definitely a fan. Now on the inside, we have that same design on our touchpad, which looks really nice. We have, you can tell a full backlit keyboard. I'm not really sure what colors we're gonna get just yet, but we'll turn that on in a second. 15.6 inch screen, looks pretty, you know, pretty toned down, not super glossy or anything. We do have a webcam, we do have speakers, we do have a microphone, so everything you could possibly need. And as you can see, we've got our Nvidia sticker, our latest gen, we got our i5 sticker. Let's go ahead and see, this thing probably doesn't have charge, but I always like checking this, because you just never know. I think it's I, dead I as a doorknob. <laughs> we have had it for a little bit, actually. Yes, it's been uh, sitting there for a bit. I think, we think we've had it for a couple of weeks, so she's probably needing a little charge. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and plug this thing in. Um, and then we're gonna kind of just see what the first time boot up looks like, you know, see if it's super loud or quiet. Obviously, once we game, we'll really be able to assess that. Ooh, yeah, I think we got a full RGB keyboard that looks like we can change that screen brightness. Let's see, LCD. This looks like it might be able to change some lights here. It's most likely software too, I would imagine. Definitely software. I don't think I've ever had a laptop where you actually change like the RGB. I'll be really excited because it looks like some of these could do that. Just, yeah, we're probably it's... gonna have to get into Windows first before we can do any of that. But yeah, um, so we're definitely gonna have Windows 11 on this thing, of course. So we'll let you guys know if it's home or pro. It's more than likely home. And uh, yeah, once we get into the desktop, we'll take a look at it again. Let's see, 3200 megahertz, one of two. Let's hope that that's true when we go in there. It looks like we have a 512 gig SSD. We obviously have gigabit for our internet, which is nice and quick. We have integrated graphics so that when we're, you know, not doing anything, as you can see, we're using integrated, so we're not using a ton of power. And look at that, 
Here's our 4060, and this thing has eight gigs of dedicated VWAM for all sorts of activities. All sorts of activities. One thing to mention too, this thing does have a built-in MUX switch. For those who don't know what that means, it makes it much easier to fully utilize that GPU when you have the iGPU also installed. So that's a really important thing to have and also very important, always update your windows. Updates are very important. So I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do these updates and then, I don't know, are we planning on doing a before and after? We just- I think we should just upgrade it. We're just gonna upgrade it. Cause I think it should be recommended. Channel. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely recommending it. So you could totally play on it as is. You're just gonna get probably about 5% more performance at least just doing this. So we'll do that right after these updates. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to upgrade a laptop. We're gonna grab our LTT screwdriver that should have all the bits we need. Uh, first things first, turn the laptop off. Make sure that it's not just in sleep mode. Make sure you actually have it turned off just because we don't wanna really, really wanna risk having to RMA this thing already, right? So it looks like we have pretty much all PH1 or PH0 Phillips. Now there is two security stickers on here and there could also be one or two under a sticker. It's very common for them to put one under like a sticker or a foot because in all honesty, they, they want it to be upgradable, but they want it to be obvious if you got in there so that if you send it back for an RMA, they can go, oh, well, it looks like you might've broken it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it could've been your fault. Pretty pretty straightforward. It looks like so far they're all the same length. So I really appreciate when laptop manufacturers kind of standardize a size. A lot of times they use a lot of different sizes and you're like, did that one go here or this one go then there? Then you have extras left over and you're like, hmm. hmm. I wonder what I did wrong. So assuming there's no more underneath the sticker, sometimes you can feel if there is. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try to see. Oh, oh wow, that was easy really easily. Actually. Yeah, nice. okay. I appreciate that. A lot of yes. laptops do not come off that easy. We have one crucial DDR4, 3200 megahertz. I was about to say gigabyte. That'd be a lot of gigabytes. So we're going to be putting in a silicon power. If you want to get the OEM brand crucial, it's awesome. They're not expensive. I do recommend going with that, but we didn't really know what brand they went with. So we just went ahead and pre-ordered this on Amazon. We're just going to pop this in here. And just like that, those will clamp down. The copper is hot. Doing so yeah. its job. Well, that's a good copper. Here's our battery. Um, so if you ever need to replace the battery, just take off this ribbon cable. There's the extra SSD upgrades. Yep, on. it looks like we already have a solid state, solid state storage technology corporation. Who the heck is that? Never heard of them. Never yeah, heard of it her. It looks like it's our 512. I still can't tell if it's like an NVMe or like a Gen 4 or anything. It but... should be Gen 4, yes. Okay, so that's that's definitely nice. It says it's Gen 4, so we'll believe it. Extra full size NVMe, so you could actually have a second one of these. And it doesn't look like, yeah, there's not really a spot for a two and a half inch. So you're pretty much stuck. No more hard drives. You have to go with at least a M.2 NVMe SSD, which let's be honest, they're pretty cheap. Now you can get a one terabyte for around 50 freaking dollars. So yeah, there's no reason not to go big. Now Matt and I normally do recommend just kind of, you know, put your bezel back on, um, especially if it's if it's one of the ones that's really hard to get off. Don't even bother clamping it like this. Make sure it works first. Make sure your RAM actually shows up because it really does suck putting all those screws back in and then having to go back and uh, yeah, undo all your work because the RAM's not showing up. We're gonna go ahead and turn this on and we're just gonna see if our RAM shows up. We should have two by eight, 16 gigs total. And looky there, we have our 16 gigs. And you can see slot two of two is used. So, and it's at 3200 megahertz. So it even overclocked it and XMP'd properly. So we're good to go on RAM now. Now we're gonna go ahead and do is download our games on our lightning fast internet. And then we're gonna test them. We're gonna see how good it goes. Whoa. All right, guys, we have this gaming laptop ready to go. And the first game we're gonna be testing is Fortnite DX11. We're running the balanced uh, temporal super resolution for optimal performance, high settings, epic, a few things off here and there. And uh, so far, pretty, pretty good experience. We're getting 100 plus FPS. Now you might be able to tell the laptop is a little loud and it's because that i5 12500H is a hot little CPU and you really gotta keep that thing cool. Um, so this thing is going to ramp up as much as it can to keep it cool. And we are on the performance setting. Um, um, in this laptop to allow us to get maximum performance. You can um, adjust the profile if you wanna go a little bit lower in favor of a little bit more silence. But um, for our sake, we wanna try our best to cool that i5 because Laptop CPUs do run hot. As you can see, we're getting 4.2 gigahertz and we're getting up into the high 90s at times. Um, it's pretty common for laptop CPUs to run really warm. Um, it's just really hard to keep them nice and cool, uh, especially this form factor where they opted for a more thin form factor of the laptop, but it's still more the playable. And especially if you get a high-end laptop like this, it's a good idea to almost have like a little at-home desk setup when you're not gaming on the go and you can have the laptop off in the corner ramped up and you don't have to listen to it. Um, and then you can play games. And as long as you're wearing headphones, as well, you probably won't be able to hear any of the noise. But we're gonna go ahead and hopefully not die. And we are taking advantage of this high refresh rate display pretty well. Um, and it does look good as well. I will say it's a very sharp looking display. Oh, here it comes. Oh, no! How did I already die? How did that happen? 
Let's go ahead and relaunch. All right, gamers. I'm not gonna let that death hold me back. Ooh! My man tried to no-scope me. Nice try, buddy. Ooh. Ah! Oh yeah, baby. We are, I am like on the, like very thin line of like one death and oh, you're right back to the bot lobbies, buddy. I was gonna say like, hiding behind that tree. That wasn't gonna work for him. I almost did. These bots are just feeding to me. Oh, here he comes. Oh, goodness. Oh, there he is. Oh man, I got killed by an alpha plug 11. My gosh, he, he, was, he was getting at me. But uh, yeah, Fortnite runs pretty great. Again, the CPU runs a little bit worn, but it, welcome to the world of gaming laptops nowadays. They really are pushing these things to limit, especially 12th gen uh, Intel laptops. Just They just run hot, man. The performance is nice and solid. We're gonna do a switch over to some Halo Infinite so Jackson gets some gameplay. It's a little bit different to uh, see how that performs. All right, guys, we're playing some Halo Infinite. We're on a high settings, FOB all the way up and we're on 1920 by 1080. We got our refresh rate nice and high since we're using the camera. We don't have to use a capture card and lose our nice performance and oh goodness, I'm starting with the rocket launcher. RPG, baby. Now one thing I will say, the fans, they are pretty loud. If I had headphones on, wouldn't care at all. I'd honestly barely be able to hear them, so wouldn't really be a big deal, but with the speakers, it is, it is definitely very hearable. It is. Oh, shmite. Oh! Oh! I choked! I thought it just like locks them in. Dude, I choked so hard. Oh! Come on, someone kill me or let me kill someone. I'm running out. Oh! 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 Yeah! How do I punch? Yeah! Oh, I got it, I actually punched. This is gonna be hard. Shotgun versus... Oh, what? You were in the punching animation. I definitely was. Finish it with the battle rifle. See, I, I only play ranked and the battle rifle's all you get, so. It's a little wild. I think this is an alien sniper. That I don't know how to use. God dang it. I'm not an alien, okay? Blah, 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 blah. Got, oh, oh. Yes. Let's Woo! go. GG, easy nerds. So that was Halo Infinite. We got close to 100 FPS still time in high settings. We could obviously lower them to get a high refresh rate, but honestly, I'm very happy with the 100 FPS. So yeah. Let's go to the next one. Let's go test some other games. Fortnite, Fortnite. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking our first RTX 4060 laptop, and overall, it did pretty well. I mean, we were getting a little bit better than 3060 levels that were in laptops before, so we're definitely pretty impressed, and to see these right around the $1,000 mark is pretty sweet for such a high-end build. Yeah, this is a pretty cool laptop, and we do highly suggest you do the RAM upgrade if you end up buying this laptop yourself, which you should definitely check the link in the description down below to find this laptop and many other laptops that Gigabyte has to offer, and we'll also leave an affiliate link for the RAM upgrade, but we do recommend as well. As you can tell, there were crucial sticks inside this laptop, so going crucial would probably be the easiest way, but the stick that we tested here worked perfectly fine. So yeah, let us know what you think of this laptop down below. Will you be considering a 4060 gaming laptop, or are you waiting for that 4060 desktop to come to the market? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye and don't forget, at PCBros.Tech, we will probably soon have some RTX 4060 laptops, but in the meantime, if you want to pick up a 4090 desktop, then go for it. PCBros.Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and more importantly, merch. Toasty Bros merch and PC Bros merch, and if you use code TOASTYBROS2 on checkout, you'll save 2% on your next purchase. Buy a PC, buy a laptop, and throw some merch in there. You might as well. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.